everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is indiami grace and i'm super excited to have you all watching sharing commenting please if you have something that you want me to teach about or talk about please drop it in the comment section i'll be down there reading and your request will be delivered In today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to cut a v-neck shirt. But first, I'll show you how to take measurements for a male shirt. You need to measure the neck, the cover, the bust, the sleeve length, the sleeve width, and the full length of the shirt. You need to measure the neck, for example, mine is 16. It has to sit unless the client wants it a bit wider. And then the cover, you have to measure from this shoulder to this shoulder. Please make sure it's from where this one shoulder starts up to where the other shoulder ends it has to sit perfectly from shoulder to another shoulder please mind these bones where this bone starts up to where this other bone ends and again you have to measure the busts Bust for men is kind of tricky, but you have to know how to do it. Some people put in this just to create enough space. They put in this just to create enough space. For example, this one is this one is 44. As you can see, it may look bigger as you're taking measurements, but trust me, after they fit in, it's going to be their perfect size. So please make sure you add in enough and a lot of space. It's better to reduce than having no space. Rather, it's better to, to reduce here yeah, than having no space to enlarge. So as you're making your clothes, please always make sure you put as enough space as you can to avoid inconveniences. And then you have to measure the full length of the shirt. Make sure you start from here, this line, going downwards. Always endeavor to include this part because some people have bigger bellies. So when you put it in sideways, you're going to find when the shirt is reaching here. So to avoid all that, you always have to include this part while taking your measurements. For example, this is 33, but when I bring it here, I'm going to make errors for the sleeves you have to when you're making the long sleeves you have to make sure you do the client does this because when you don't do this most people take measurements and they find when the sleeves are reaching here they are halfway so when you do this it, it is going to give you the shape of the whole arm so this one Please make sure you include the elbow as well so it comes straight. This one is 24 and a half inches. Please note that I'm doing my measurements in inches, please. This one is 24 and a half inches for the long sleeves. And for the short sleeves, for the short sleeves, it is 10 halfway of the arm. And for the sleeve width, you just have to include enough space. Just put enough space as much as enough. <laughs> just, in, just put enough as much as enough space in your measurement. For example, this one is 14, but it's enough for him to move his arm and do anything that he may feel like doing.
du coup de sang. So my measurements, I'm using a kaba of 17, bust of 45, full length of 34, sleeve length of 10, and a sleeve width of 14. First of all, when you're folding the fabric, for a v-neck shirt, when you're doing the other First of all, when you're folding the fabric for v-neck shirt, you have to make sure you use this part on fold. You see, this is open and this is in, on fold. This is open and this is on fold. This is on fold. So you have to make sure you use this part on fold. This is how you fold your fabric. Like this. So for my neck, I'm going to use three inches. Mind you, you have to make sure this thing is straight in each other. Like you see this and this. You have to make sure they are together. Don't let the inside part get apart from this outer one. So please always endeavor, you can use pins just in case it's becoming hard for you. Some fabric is stubborn. So pins are always there to help. I know beginners don't want to use pins. They, won't, they don't want to, to use pins. But please use your pins in order to get something neat. It's for your own good. So... I'm going to use three inches. By, by three and a half. Being a V-neck, I'm going to add an extra opening just to make it easy to put on the shirt. So for that case, I'm using three by three and a half. So this is for the front neck this folding includes the front part and the back part it's joined together so i'm going to cut as a whole this first measurement for the neckline is the is for the front part and now i'm going to use i'm going to measure the measurements for the the back part this 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 three here is for the width and this is the length of the neck the width is always the same for the front and for the back part. Only the length of the neck differs. So for the for the back neck, it's always one and a half inches. It is always one and a half inches. For the beginners, anyway, one and a half inches you're ready to learn then you curve and here you curve curve your neck then for the for the cover we use 17 inches my measurements are in inches please mark that 
for the cover we use 17 inches i get 17 and divide it by 2 giving me 8.5 then i add a half inches half an inch for stitching purposes making it nine so from the very point i'll mark nine nine so my nine is here but as you know there is no such a person that is straight like this everyone has this bending point everyone slants a bit at least no one is straight like this all humans slant so for that reason that's where i i take off one inch from my starting point you see my neck starts from here so from this very starting point i'm going to take off one inch some take one and a half inches but also one inch can work from the starting point and then i join the line I guess you can see that and then for the armhole i'm sorry we didn't measure the armhole when i was showing when i was showing you how to to, to take measurements but you can always measure someone's armhole and some do use the trick of uh dividing the busts for example, my bust is 45, so when I, when I divide it by 4, I get 11.25. So I can just make, mark 11. No, I, I mark 10. Then I add one extra inch on the front. Just to put the curve, because you know there is no such a person that has a straight armhole like this so it is always going to curve it is always going to curve so i i just add that one extra inch in the carving for the carving purposes this is my 10 inches mind you this is my bust line you can choose to mark Sorry, here I'll mark 11 because that is my armhole. You can choose to mark and join. So after joining, 